dear students in this video we will learn about how to calculate goodwill uh, when a parent company acquires shares in a subsidiary company first of all what you have to calculate is the goodwill so uh, let's discuss the format first this is the format for the uh, for the full goodwill method when nci is to be valued at fair value so first of all what we need to calculate the cost of investment by the parent company then we will add the fair value of nci at acquisition these both values must be at acquisition because we calculate goodwill at acquisition so combining these two values then from this value deduct fair value of net assets at acquisition remember the fair value of net assets at acquisition and sometimes you have to adjust fair value of adjustment in it when the book value and fair value is different so after deduction of this either you can find out a positive goodwill or a negative goodwill if it's a positive goodwill then the treatment is that it is to be recognized as an intangible asset as a non current intangible asset in the statement of financial position but if goodwill comes to be a negative one then it is to be treated as income and is to be recognized in profit and loss account or retain earning now let's see how we can calculate these positive and negative goodwill so let's uh, discuss the question for example our date of acquisition is 1st january 16 the percentage of holding by the parent company is 80% the cost of investment is given 600000 usd the reserves of subsidiary at the date of acquisition was 200000 similarly share capital and fair value of nci 200000 calculate goodwill at acquisition so let me just put the values in the format so first of all we need to find out the cost of investment so the cost of investment by parent company is 600000 so we have 600000 cost of investment then fair value of nci at acquisition and there is fair value of nci at acquisition and the total value is 800000 so this is the total investment by both parent and nci and then you have to identify the fair value of net assets which is share capital and reserves share capital is 300000 and reserve is 200000 so fair value of net assets of subsidiary at acquisition identify this and deduct so share capital 300000 plus reserves that is 200000 and the fair value of net asset is 500000 so the 800000 value is greater than this so this x is is called the positive goodwill at acquisition what we have paid we have paid 800000 against the net assets of subsidiary so x is value is called positive goodwill and the accounting treatment is that it is to be recognized as intangible asset and it is subject to the impairment loss at each year end you have to review for impairment loss and if you think that the uh, carrying amount is greater than recoverable amount then you have to book impairment loss and remember that an impairment loss is an expense now move move on to another question A acquired sixty percent shares of B, so A is a parent company and B is a subsidiary. This is the date of acquisition. This is the cost of investment when the reserves were three hundred thousand and capital was two hundred thousand. The NCI was one lakh twenty thousand. So calculate goodwill at acquisition. Now in this case, we have uh, been provided uh, cost of investment two hundred thousand and NCI one lakh twenty thousand. so cost of investment 
and fair value of NCI at acquisition is one lakh twenty thousand. So we have three lakh twenty thousand of investment together by the parent company and the subsidiary. Now let's find out the fair value of net assets and share capital is two hundred thousand. Reserve is three hundred thousand. So fair value of net assets at acquisition share capital 200000 reserve 300000 so the total value is 500000 now the price paid is less than the net assets acquired so the difference that is 180000 is negative goodwill And what is the accounting treatment? This negative goodwill is to be treated as income and reported in profit and loss account or retain earning in the consolidated income statement or in the consolidated statement of financial position. 